Miles Bridges is having a breakout season for the Charlotte Hornets. On the year, Miles is averaging 20 points per game on a really good 48% shooting from the field, 7.4 rebounds, and also adding 3.5 assists. Just a fantastic breakout season for Miles. But quickly before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, please consider hitting that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. But anyways, let's get into it. I work with the medics, I'm about to get you injected. I got a couple connections so I can get you prosthetic. Okay. Miles Bridges was drafted with the number 12 overall selection in the 2018 NBA draft to the Charlotte Hornets. And in my opinion, going into that year's draft, I saw Miles as a super athletic player that certainly had the ability to get some crazy posterizing dunks and also had the ability to run the pick and lob situation pretty effectively. But honestly, I didn't see Miles as being much more of a player than just that. There's been so many players in the NBA that had crazy athleticism, but didn't necessarily have too many skills besides that. And once they got to the NBA, they were certainly an okay player at best that had the ability to get some crazy highlights but they weren't necessarily much more than that and i kind of saw miles as one of those guys going into the draft and pretty early on into his career he was basically just that he had the ability to get some crazy posterizing dunks when driving to the basket he ran the pick and lob situation pretty effectively he was also pretty effective once driving all the way to the basket he had somewhat of a shooting ability from that mid-range and three point but for the most part altogether he really wasn't much more than just one of those guys that came into the NBA drafted pretty highly that were super athletic, but didn't necessarily have too many skills besides that. And you could really see that in the numbers he put up early on. In his rookie season, he only averaged 7.5 points per game on 46% shooting, 4 rebounds, and also adding 1.2 assists to his game. In the 2019 NBA season, he brought his points up to around 13 a game. In the 2020 season, he brought them up to around 12 points per game, which certainly are decent numbers, but obviously nothing crazy. And the numbers that Miles was really putting up was reminiscent of a guy who who was a really good player coming off the bench or maybe a decent level starter but honestly not much more than that but so far early on into this season miles bridges has really improved every aspect of his game for the most part but i will say before i get into it ever since miles got drafted into the nba he did a fantastic job at working on specifically his three-point shooting ability and he really did a great job at improving that season after season and last year he was actually shooting 40 percent from deep which is very very good and his three-point percentage i will say has come down a little bit this season compared to to last but basically every other aspect of his game he really did improve significantly but let's first start talking about his three-point shooting ability so of course miles has a decent ability to catch and shoot from that three-point range having a very nice ability to catch and shoot from that corner three-point shot especially but also miles has a bunch of other skills from that three-point range he has the ability to cross over into a three-point jump shot sidestep step back basically having any ability you need from that three-point range although he doesn't necessarily shoot it at a very high percentage as he's only shooting 32 percent from, from three this season but i think that's more so of a fluke and he will get better percentage wise as the season progresses in my opinion at least but talking about miles's mid-range shooting ability it's very similar to his three-point shooting ability but just a little bit better he has the ability to catch and shoot from that mid-range area cross over a sidestep step back also has a decent pull up mid-range jump shot has the ability to hit that post turnaround fadeaway which i mentioned in a lot of my videos a very effective shot for a bunch of different players in the league and really could take your game to the next level if you master that ability and miles certainly has that ability and has been working on it ever since getting into the NBA so I'm happy to see him doing that. He has a decent floater within his game as well and overall from that mid-range area he's very effective from that range in my opinion. But now talking about his best ability which is his driving and finishing ability. Miles as I mentioned before in the video is super athletic and certainly has the ability to posterize whatever defenders in the paint and we saw some crazy posterizing dunks from Miles over the years but something that he's really improved upon is his driving and finishing ability in terms of finishing around the basket with craft layups. This season specifically, we've seen Miles finish around the basket with very crafty lefts, either with his left or right hand, and remember his left hand is his dominant hand. We've seen a bunch of times once Miles drives all the way to the basket, he comes up with his right hand and he finishes with his left hand or vice versa. Just very crafty abilities finishing around the rim. And he really uses his athleticism perfectly to hang in the air and, and outlast whatever defenders in the paint, and overall uses his athleticism very effectively not only for posterizing players, but also finishing around them with crafty 
penalty layups. And I think the biggest change about Miles' offensive game as a whole is he's a lot more complete this season compared to what he was in years past. In years past, he was a decent three-point shooter, had the ability to drive all the way to the basket, but didn't necessarily have all the abilities in terms of his mid-range shot and all the abilities from three-point range as he has now. So that's the biggest improvement in my opinion. Now, of course, in terms of Miles' passing and playmaking ability, he's not all that great at it, but when you talk about a player of his size and skill set, you don't really expect all that much in terms of that ability, so it's not necessarily something that I'm worried about, but at the same time, I will say he has the ability to find open players, maybe in the corner for a wide open three, cutting all the way to the basket. He has those basic abilities in terms of his passing and playmaking ability, which is certainly great to see. But now talking about Miles' defensive ability, Miles does a fantastic job at using his great athleticism combined with his great strength, wingspan, and overall movement out there to defend whatever player he's guarding very effectively. And certainly at this point, I would call Miles an above average defender, which is certainly a plus for Charlotte. And overall, in my opinion, I think Miles does a very good job at basically defending whatever player he's guarding. When he's guarding point guards, he does a very good job. And also when he guards centers, he does as good of a job as you possibly could for the position and size that he plays. And when you look at Miles' game as a whole in terms of his offensive abilities, in terms of his scoring abilities, passing and playmaking abilities, and also looking at his defensive abilities, when you look at the entire package of Miles Bridges, I think you're looking at a very well-rounded player and certainly an all-star caliber player within the next few seasons. Now, obviously, I know a lot of people are expecting Miles to make the all-star game this season, but in my opinion, I don't think he's necessarily there yet. I think there's just too many other players in the Eastern Conference that maybe deserve it a little bit more than Miles, but I will say in the future, in the near future, I will say, I think Miles will at the very least be making one all-star team and going forward in his career, I would expect him to get better with each and every season progressing. And overall, I think it's been pretty crazy to see the improvement for Miles from his rookie season compared to now and honestly I think in five seasons from now the improvement may be pretty significant as well and looking at the Charlotte Hornets team going forward I think Hornets fans have a lot to be excited about when you talk about players of course as Miles Bridges, LaMelo Ball, Kelly Oubre is a pretty decent player going forward, Terry Rozier, James Bognight, PJ Washington there's just so many different players on this roster that have very exciting futures and overall already at this point the Charlotte Hornets are a very exciting team so we'll see what happens going forward not only for Miles Bridges but also for the Charlotte Hornets as a whole and we'll see if they're able to make the playoffs this season and if they do we'll see what they could do in the playoffs but overall I think a very exciting future for both of these parties but anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think Miles Bridges could potentially be a superstar or an all-star type player going forward or do you not think so but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy check one of these two videos popping up now and until the next time peace out guys so I can get you prosthetics. Hope you can't go around.